Hi, Luca. Really Thank nice you. to see you this afternoon. And uh, Thank you for joining me. It's uh, really interesting to be in, in this position. Normally we're talking all about you to the press, but today I get to ask you a few questions. Yes. Um, so let me kick off. Um, obviously there's some key features in, in your new product, Ale, um, relating to sports cars for the 2021 collection. Yes. Um, if you could personally choose one mode of transport for the rest of your life, what would that be? Would be a boat because uh, I'm Venetian, and oh, okay. uh, um, everything mm -hmm. in Venice happened on the on the boat. So when we are a teenager, and maybe people, I don't know, in Paris or New York or whatever, they have the bike. We have a tiny little boat uh, cool. to go around the lagoon. The boat is uh, it's my favorite transport. Uh, I guess it's your nat the natural choice. Going back to the, the design and, and the influence of sports cars, what would um, your favorite sports car be? The reference of the sports car is, first of all, um, in terms of uh, the heritage in design, uh, Italy was very good in, in, uh, in the sports car design. Yeah. And still, for me, it was also a tribute, not only about a uh, specific sport car, but was more in general to to observe and to find another angle of um, heritage coming from uh, a design sector mm -hmm. that's still very important for the concept of made in Italy and moving. In, a, in this case, in a wall lamp, but maintaining the same kind of um, DNA of the project. And describing the design style of Ale, could you kind of explain it to someone who, you know, hasn't seen it yet? Is it, you know, could you kind of give us some sort of highlights of the design? L is uh, very simple in terms of concept. So mm -hmm. it's a wall lamp that uh, we want working with a kind of indirect light. Mm -hmm. So it was quite natural the idea to check what can be a element that create a sort of intersection with the, <laughs> the radius of the light that help us to have a <laughs> A reflection yes and a different lighting effect the main goal was using only one material yeah. uh, in this case is a, a body in die cast aluminium mm -hmm. and having the led module easy to replace and being very compact all these elements plus the design part that was really trying to create something very kind of aerodynamic in a way for the function that we discover we want to give to the lamp. Mm -hmm. so it was quite uh, easy looking immediately the sports car as a yeah. uh, as an inspiration. For the fun part here, you're the newest Crayola color. What color are you and why? I love colors in general, probably yellow, kind of pale yellow. Pale yellow for me is a kind of color that is very connect with uh, with Venice in a way because if you look Venice in terms of building is really a pastel color a watercolor paint almost what is the most treasured item in your home you know it's quite funny because I'm designing so many objects and I also love collecting objects that I like mm. but in the same time I have a sort of distance with object. Being a creative person, I'm always trying to improve. Yes. And so everything that is around me never satisfy me 100%. <laughs> that means I never being able to build up a strong relationship with the object that I have at home. Maybe that's the secret of your success, Luca. And in terms of cities, is there a city that inspires you and, and one you want to keep going back to? And, and why, why might that be? If I need to tell you one that 
really left me something special is uh, Mexico City. Mexico City really was special in yeah. terms of culture, in terms of craft, in terms of uh, history, in terms of where the city is built, mm -hmm. and the, the Mexican, uh, many things. I didn't expect, especially the modern part, and how much contemporary uh, the approach uh, of uh, the modernist in movement in Mexico can be connect also with the strong craftsmanship that yeah. you find locally, but also the food. You know, food for me is also very connected with the richness of a culture. How do you define beauty? I think it's very subjective. It's not only a matter of aesthetic. I think beauty is also something that you are attracted uh, for many reasons. Can be a empathy that that specific things offer to you, attraction because there is some aesthetic that really uh, put is part of your background. So it's, it's so difficult to define what is beauty. Now, one word answer for this one, cats or dogs? I, I'm not really into animal, honestly. Perfect. <laughs> what single thing would improve the quality of your life, Luca? I think mentally having the opportunity to come back in Italy. Um, how would you like to be remembered? A happy person. If a student wanted to, to enter the field of design, what one piece of advice would you give? Try to look design not as it is now, but thinking what can be done to improve the quality of life of people. And the last question, if you weren't a designer, you would be a... For sure, not now, but in the beginning, a basketball player. <laughs> And, and probably now I was involved in a sport in some way. I don't know, maybe a manager or I don't know, but probably connect to the sport. Perfect. Thank you so much, Luca. Thank you very much.